we are going to pamper your feet and ankles with this mobility session. Go ahead and grab a tennis ball and let's get started. Start by placing the ball underneath of your big toe and just see how it feels to let your big toe just come and fold over top of the ball. You're going to work along the muscles between the bones of the feet. So standing and putting a little bit of pressure through that ball, you're gonna to start to just roll that ball from the base of your big toe to the base of your heel. Only putting as much pressure as feels comfortable and then slowly working the ball towards the second toe, the second knuckle. Seeing what it feels like for a moment to let the toes fall over top of the ball and then work through sliding forward and backwards along those muscles of your arches. Four to five rolls and you can move to underneath of the third and the fourth toe. Pausing for a moment if you find a spot that feels good to put some pressure through, but never going past a two or three out of discomfort. When you're ready, go ahead and get that ball underneath the base of your baby toe and just see what that feels like to let the toes fall over the ball there. And then go along the base of that baby toe to get some really nice massage. We're waking up the feet, spending some special attention and time here for the part of your body that continuously keeps you grounding and moving along your way. If the ball gets away from you, just grab it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna work back to, through each of the joints again to get back to the big toe. So a couple of passes forward and backwards over the ball at each toe again until you get back to the big toe. And then what you're gonna do is come and stand with that ball underneath of your heel and just put a little bit of pressure down. With a tennis ball, you're gonna get a lot more give. With a lacrosse ball, you're gonna get not as much give. So only putting as much pressure as you want down through the heel. Just a different sensation. And from the different side, I am coming to the side of the heel. And if you want to come to the point where you can feel the bone of the heel ends and more of the muscles underneath kind of begin. So with stepping onto the ball with your heel, we are just gently massaging that fat pad that's underneath of it, but then we can also come more to the connecting point of the muscles onto the heel, maybe going side to side there. Okay, now it's time to switch to the other side. So starting with that tennis ball underneath of the joint of your big toe, what does it feel like to let the toes come and fall over top of the ball. And then when you're ready, go ahead and move that ball from the base of your big toe, base of your big toe down towards the heel. Four to five lengths through that same spot. And then you will come and get that ball underneath of the second toe and let your toes fall over the ball there. When you're ready, start moving the ball from the base of that second toe towards the base of the heel. <sighs> and 
And if you find a spot that feels good to just stop and put a little bit of pressure, do so. And then move on to the base of this third and the fourth toe, moving up and down. And then moving to the base of the pinky toe, letting the toes curl over the ball. And then starting with that gentle rolling, little bit of this self massage for the soles of your feet. Bring some awareness to that foot that you just work with. How amazing does that foot feel? So good. And when you're ready, coming and putting some pressure down onto the heel on top of that ball in a couple of different spots, staying more directly on the heel, waking up that fat pad, mobilizing that fat pad. And then if you want, bring that tennis ball and move your foot more side to side, massaging the connection of the muscles to the bone of the arch. Now come to the base of the pinky toe again, and we're gonna come back through the length of the foot here. A Little bit out of order from the first foot, but that doesn't matter as long as we're coming and giving that attention and running through this a second time. It's all good. So coming to the base of the toes, heel down, letting the toes curl over the ball. That is a nice stretch here from the top, on the top of my foot. I can really feel that. And then coming through the length of the foot. Until you get to the base of the big toe and finishing up with some rolling more through the outer arch. Awesome. Take a moment, set that ball aside, and just see how your feet feel now after some of that. <laughs> 